Hello, welcome. My name is Boli Ekberg. I'm the application specialist of a mega factory in Sweden. Today I'm going to do a dynamic resistance measurement on our auto breaker. I'm going to use Eagle 223, an injection unit and a motion transducer. I have done a timing measurement before and now I need to do the settings for the DRM measurement. I need to select measurement type DRM here. If that's not available, that means you don't have a license. And then you need to update your Eagle 200 with the SDRM license software or the PLUS software. I still want to do my motion measurement to have that selected and I want to measure my coil current. The coil current is not needed for this measurement. I only have one SDRM injection box and I'm working with the model Eagle 223 so I need to do the measurement phase wise. I start with phase A. I want to do an open up measurement and then I continue with the connections so I select connections to the left. We we'll start with the connections of Eagle 200. As you can see, the controls are connected. Timing cable is connected. Power supply. And the grounding. Now when we do DRM, we need to measure voltage, current and motion. We start with connecting the voltage. Since we are using the timing MR cable, the standard cable, we're going to measure with the analog channel, and this is a different connector, so we need to use the adapter cable. So we take the normal MR cable, connect it to the analog channel via this adapter cable. We use the SDRM cable and connect the channel 1 to analog channel. Here I need to fill in the ratio. The ratio you can find on the label on the SDRM box. My specific value is 10.007 and I need to divide that with 250. So 10.007 and divide with 250 and I get the value 40.028 and I fill that in 40.028 so and the offset was minus 0 0.7. We're also going to measure motion and for that we need an extension cable and we're going to connect that to the last analog channel. Here you could have used a digital transducer and a digital outlet, but we are using the analog channel and the analog outlet. To trig, we also need to connect the cables, trig cables. to DRM outlet. And we continue with connections on the circuit breaker.
the SDRM box needs to charge. It takes a few seconds between each shot, but first time it takes about two minutes. It, as you see, now when we've done the connection, it's already ready. And don't forget, it needs to have the charging connected all the time. Uh, when it's ready, we can do the measurement and turn the knob. I come directly to my graphs and results. I see my red graph, but I need to adapt the window to suit me better for the analyze. The resistance is the red graph and motion in green. To see the big action in red graph just before the breaker opens, I put my point of interest in central position and I zoom out. I go to setting at the top. Here I can change my graph, things like position, on off and color. I change current color from orange to black. I start looking for my DRM points. First point, I see my current in black and here the arc in contact opens and the current drops. The current drops at 24,5 milliseconds and that is my final contact point of opening. The current doesn't go to zero because I have my object grounded on both sides. Second point, I can see my main contact release, the red graph, where the resistance makes a big step to a higher resistance level. A step from closed circuit breaker at micro-ohm level up to milli-ohm level at about 18 milliseconds. I start to analyze my result. I push the label for resistance to get cursor data needed for my DRM analyze. I push the new symbol, cursor symbol. I'm starting to adjust my cursors to find my two arcing points. I can see here that my two cursors are quite well placed on the red graph. I have one at the main contact release at 18,5 milliseconds and one at the arcing contact release at 24,5 milliseconds. If I need to alter them, I just go to the text box up here. And this change moves the cursor. And to move the other cursor, go to the other text box. Then I can save the data to my parameter list. Let's have a look. I go up in screen to, my, to parameters. Here I can see my new created parameter in millimeters, 16,1 millimeter, and as a difference in time, 5,9 milliseconds. Thank you very much for the attention. Check out our other videos on YouTube.